James Knight, Yacht Tech. And I'm down here on Nordhaven 47, the 1066 T. And um, we have a situation where the engine occasionally changes RPM, surges, dips in RPMs. And we've already been into this lift pump area here uh, where we know that these fittings that are attached to the diesel lift pump sometimes can come loose to fairly heavy fuel line half-inch fuel line attached to quite a small fitting on the intake there to the uh, lift pump. Sometimes these can break free and you can get little air bubbles that suck in there with the fuel and that causes the engine to surge. So the owner of this boat's already been in there and changed out all these fuel fittings. We've still got an issue with this uh, engine very occasionally changing an RPM. So <clears throat> I thought the next thing to do was come over here and have a look at this lift pump and I'll, upon inspection you won't be able to see from there, but in a second we'll move the camera. If you look underneath, you can see telltale signs. I don't know if you can get in there. You can see telltale signs under here of where fuel's been leaking out from the drain hole. There's a little drain hole in the underside here. There's a diaphragm inside this lift pump, and when that starts to go, you are going to see signs of fuel draining out from underneath. So you, I don't know if you can see there, but it's yellowed. It's yellowed around underneath here, and there's some yellowing under here where it's been dripping off the lift pump. So we managed to find a lift pump over at the local John Deere dealer because, of course, this is a tractor engine, so you can pick up parts <clears throat> almost anywhere around the U.S. And uh, for not very much money, we picked up a new lift pump, which is sitting in this uh, box here from the tractor store. We're going to pop this fuel pump off and put a new fuel pump on there, prime it up, and hopefully that'll solve the problem. So we're one stage further than we were. I just want to show you a couple of things here. So pulled out the lift pump, just two bolts, and there's an O-ring seal against the block there. So got a little fuel coming out of this. These fittings on the return line bushings, on the injectors, and also on this fuel pump require a little O-ring bushing that sits inside here. Um, you can see on the lift pump the reason we're changing it out is because it has been leaking. So the diaphragm inside has got a, either a split in it or um, it's leaking somehow and it's coming out the little weep hole in the bottom and then the diesel's burning off because of the heat and leaving the, the staining around the bottom of the lift pump there. Now if you come over here and look closely at my left hand you'll see this little bushing um, and unfortunately when you take these apart oftentimes because these things have been immersed in diesel they start falling apart so these are the pieces of rubber so rather than try and use that bushing again and pop that sucker off and you can see how it's falling apart there and luckily I've done this before so while we were at the store we managed to find in the computer the part number for the bushings and I brought a couple with me hopefully we got the right size bushings and, um, so we got it all back together um, changed out the fitting it came with two of these little brass fittings changed out the fitting to the Nordhaven adapter um, unfortunately I didn't bring any white paint so that'll have to come later and we'll uh, just dust it off with white paint. Um, we've opened up the fuel valve and I just need to get some fuel through this to make sure we bleed the So um, these fittings here on this lift pump and I will just say after we've got finished here I added a, um, a cable tie here. You will find that if you look at the 47s that a lot of them this um, hose comes in at an angle and the weight of this hose and the vibration will cause this fitting to unscrew itself and when this fitting unscrews itself it's going to allow little air bubbles in there just like I said it would cause surging in the engine and some irregularities in RPM. Also the fittings that attach from this uh, swivel here reusable to the lift pump originally would have come in brass and I don't know if you can see here but what happens when you put vibration uh, uh, on a big hat fitting hanging on a tiny thread like that over time it will cause them to fracture and indeed this one fractured and when it when it was taken off it just broke in the in the technician's wrench so um, it is worth checking these and possibly on older Nordhavens, Nordhaven 47s and if your engine is uh, is connected to the fuel system by way of one of these probably worth getting it out and replacing it with the steel okay. fitting instead so of we sent the owner upstairs to uh, check to make sure the stack cover was off and he's going to turn the key.
no leaks, no hesitation. I think we're good. Now we gotta take this boat for a ride and see if we've solved the problem. We'll let you know. My name's James Knight, Yacht Tech in Naples, Florida.